So you have my component, and we know that it has a template. So let's just make a template that has a simple ngif that has some expression. And in that expression, it will say, I am activated. Then we have a button that, when it clicked, will activate that div. And this has an expression value. And this is all TypeScript code. Um, this is an expression value that gets executed. So we know that this guy will, will reveal itself on the page. And if you want to use CSS, you could have a class here. You could say animate me in. And then in your styles, you could have animate me in and have a transition. This is non angular animation code. It works. But the problem is, what happens when you remove it? There's no way to tap into the removal because CSS doesn't. CSS works on what's in the page. It doesn't work what's going away in the page. And this is the, probably the best use case to start off by using animations with Angular 2's API. So to get started, this is Angular 4 code. You're going to import, actually, you know what? Let's import everything. Let's say star as animation, or edit, edit from Angular animations. So this is, this is how it is in Angular 4. And now, instead of having this, we'll delete this code. Actually, we'll keep it side by side. Animations. And you will say trigger. And you'll call this guy fade it. Then you'll say edit it. Well, actually, we'll call this A just to make it a little bit easier to follow. So then A dot transition. And we are going to animate on enter. And we are going to animate on leave. So for enter, we want to say that it's going to show up in the page. So we're just going to say animate by 500. And let's say that we start off by having it be hidden. So we say opacity 0. And then we say animate by 500. That will basically take what opacity is and where opacity is going to go to, which is going to be opacity 1. For leave, it will be animate 500, but we'll tell it to animate to style of opacity 0. So that gives us the enter and leave effects. And we don't need to use this anymore. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of the class, get rid of this. And now to make this work, we just have a flag here called fade in. That's it. Now, every time the NGF goes to true or false, so if we make this a toggle, when it goes to true or false, it will kick off the fade and trigger, and it will find the corresponding animation transition, and it will fire off the actual animation itself. Does that make sense? I just don't get why the style is inside of animate on the leave, but not on the enter. So this means that style is applied immediately. There's no timing. So as soon as it enters, you want it actually to be invisible right away. OK. And you could say this. You could say style opacity 1 right here if you want to. But Angular is smart enough to actually fill that in for you because it knows that um, you're going from 0 to whatever the final state will be. So if you only wanted to go to, like I don't know, for some reason, 75%, you could say it there, and it wouldn't ever take it to 1, correct? Yes, exactly. OK, gotcha. What you could also do is you could have a state here. It will say void because this leave is actually going to the void state. So leave is going from any state to void. That's just a shortcut for that. And we could say style, and we could say Opacity zero. <clears throat> and what this means, and now we don't even have to have this value because it knows that it's going from whatever the, uh, the non void state is to the void state. And it's going to animate by half a second and it picks up the state value from here. 